Once you get up to 13,000 feet, you're winded. So here at Telluride right now, and about to embark on a journey that is probably one of the most epic at any ski resort. That's gonna be a hike up Palmyra Peak. So right now we're at the top of chair 12. It is about 11.45 a.m. And by the top we'll be above 13,000 feet. It's gonna be very hard to breathe up there. Very tenuous, probably over two hours. It's gonna start easy, gonna get harder. Let's get started. So we're not even five minutes up, but seeing some of these lines here looks so tempting. You can see these drop-ins are pretty tough. You got these cornices here you gotta navigate, got these rock hills, but look at all this powder. It's just untouched, but we're still only about five, 10% of the way up. You just know it's gonna get better the higher you go. Bit of a ways up at this point. This is the part where the wide, kind of like groomed part of the hike ends. It gets a bit steeper from here. Uh, we still have quite a ways to go, but not gonna lie, already feeling pretty short of breath. Uh, it's gonna be an adventure from up here. Whew. So about maybe 25% of the hike up now, maybe a little less than that vert-wise. Uh, made friends with a Telluride employee who uh, is talking up Palmyra. Yeah, I've been living here for the past couple of years and uh, when I interact with high altitude areas, I find that above 11,000 feet, that's when you really start feeling it. Once you get up to 13,000 feet, you're winded. Uh, and it's almost uh, like an exponential. So like, you know, from zero to 10,000 feet, it's okay. 10 to 11,000 feet, it gets worse. 11 to 12, it gets worse. 12 to 13, it gets worse. And it just continues to be more and more difficult to breathe. <laughs> just take it at your own pace. Make sure you stop and take a breather. Um, you wanna be, you know, in the best mental state you can. The most difficult part is definitely a little, uh, a little rock scramble you have to do, which is the mm. most. Yeah. All right, well, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers to you, enjoy it. Still not even halfway up, but just looking at these lines, they're so sick. Having all this untouched powder, it's really hard to just not get tempted and drop in here. But you know the top is just gonna be, if this is what it's like, about 40% of the way up, it's gotta be just unreal when we get to the top. So now we're about maybe half the hike, but maybe a third of the vert up uh, Palmyra Peak. So this is the Black Iron Bowl. Um, and this is where a lot of people decide to uh, drop off and actually uh, hop in and do some of this terrain. On a day like today, this terrain is pretty awesome. It is about to get a lot steeper from here. Gonna keep going. Uh, definitely this up to here has been the easy part by far of the hike. So you can see a lot of people going up today. It is a lot of vert gained. So let's continue. It's about to get a lot harder and a lot steeper. This hike, not for the faint of heart. Wow. Big step up here. These rocks just keep on coming. Woo. Already insanely exhausted, but there's so much more to go. Wow. The amount of vert that we've done already is insane. So maybe about two thirds of the way up right now, we've conquered a decent chunk of vertical, but wow, there's still quite a ways to go. And it's only gonna get tougher as the altitude gets 
even higher. My arms and legs starting to feel a little bit like jello, but man, look at these views. You can see over there, those are the Gold Hill Chutes. That's another hike you can do. Not nearly as crazy as this hike. If you want to drop in here, there's a run called Capital. If you take a look at the trail map, pretty sure it's a, a nice little chute and it looks pretty extreme. But man, still got uh, one crazy journey ahead. Wow. Man, this is about to get intense. Nice little rock shoot to hike up. At least there's a place to put your hands. Kind of stabilize yourself. Oh, do need to watch out for my skis though. That left ski is coming pretty close. I think we can see the top now though. Oh. Damn. Guess this is the final leg. We're getting close to the top, but there are some lines around here you can hop into if you want. Some of these look pretty good, but at this point, it would be such a shame to not just make it to the top from here. But you can you can already see, these lines are way more extreme, way more unique than anything that is even remotely lift serviced, even a small hike at Telluride. This is some of the greatest terrain inbounds in the world. Wow. Or it's a little rocky. Oh. Oh. Wow. Woo. Oh man. The top. Wow, we're so close. Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh man, at this point my body is just feeling so shot. Every step, just getting exponentially harder. I think we're approaching 13,000 feet here. The air is light and you can feel it. But we're so close. I think this goes without saying. But if you don't have a backpack to attach your skis to, this hike's gonna be a struggle for you. Getting so close at this point. Some of these shoots, wow, they are gnarly. Just these fall lines, so long, insanely rock riddled. Man, I am pretty stoked to get to the top here. Exhausted but stoked. So looks like this is marked as the recommended route, but looks like absolutely no one's done it. Everyone's going to the top. We're so close. We've hiked so far. You just can't not make it all the way to the very peak. Palmyra Peak. Ooh. This is it. Woo! Palm River Peak, baby. Twisted sister. 13,350 feet. 
unbelievable views. Fun snacks to be had by all. So that hike, I think, when all is said and done, not counting the 10 minute break at the top, probably took me just over two hours. So this is probably for most people a once in a season, if not once ever hike. So you gotta make it count. The same is most certainly true for myself. So here's the drop in. We're gonna start with this place called Seniors. And we're up here, it is over 13,000 feet. And then we're going to drop. We have a choice between Seniors and Roy Boy once we get kind of through the middle then we hop into Palmyra Basin. So I cannot believe this is actually happening, but let's check it out. Woo! Oh man, the snow up here, it is the first day of April, but it is light and untouched. Way better conditions than down further in the mountain. We're more than 4,000 feet above the base and it is crazy. Man, this chute is super steep. This is a no-fall zone for sure. You have to be very careful to navigate here. But look at this snow. Oh man. Looks can be deceiving though. Just hit a rock. Be a little careful, but the snow is dry and light. The fall line, you can just see this fall line goes for a while. You want to be very careful in here. So I think the move might be just to go down seniors. I think. There's pretty solid snow in here. And this terrain is very interesting. We're about to hop into this little chute here. Gonna be fun. Oh boy. Those were rocks. But this area over here, this is where the snow is probably the most untouched. Do you, do you see this? Ankle deep right now in April. That is insane. Oh yeah, this is where the untouched stuff is. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. This is insane. Insane. For how bad of a year Colorado has had, this run, Unreal. Wow. Woo! Oh my God. There are rocks, but you can just see this is untouched. This is so epic. That was a insanely long hike, but for these turns, it's hard not to say that it is worth it. <sighs> Unreal. And just look at how beautiful this is. And up there you can see Gold Hill. You got the Gold Hill stairs. <sighs> but just look at this. So beautiful, so remote. You can't see civil any sort of civilization around here. You're just one with nature and some of the most beautiful nature out there. This is an insane run. If you stop over at Black Iron Bowl, some of the places that are a little bit further up, those are great, but this is just on another level. I never thought I'd be skiing through light, 
on touch powder like this at this time of year. Unreal. Wow. Just look at that. Just look at all the snow here. Unreal. Un freaking real. We've done quite a lot of vert here, but there's still an unreal amount of untouched light powder. There's definitely some lines through here, but you can find plenty of freshies. This is prime. It's probably about 40 degrees up here, maybe closer to 45, 50 at the bottom, but light dry snow, mild temperatures, bluebird day. What more can you ask for? Popping into some trees. Definitely still on the steeper side. But luckily, down here, there aren't too many. Oh! Wow, I was about to say there aren't too many rocks but I spoke way too soon. All right, got some nice trees over here. Surprisingly, after that hike, I'm not too exhausted. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just the adrenaline of that run, but. It's uh pretty good place to be right now, Telluride. This is by far, I think, the most epic run I've done this season, maybe ever. Probably the hardest hike I've done. Oh, still so much on track stuff. Because you can't really get into this area unless you hike to it. So, you hike for quite a while, but you're rewarded with really, really solid snow for quite a significant amount of time. I think maybe up there, you see Prospect up there? That's like the closest non-hike to terrain that you can access from here. So, there's still plenty of untracked run to go. It's definitely getting a little bit more tracked as right up there, that's the Black Iron Bull. So there's gonna be more people filtering in over here, but we still should have some pretty untracked snow until we get pretty close to the bottom. Wow, you can, you can just see, like, we're still in a hike to zone and you can see just how much vertical we've covered. We were all the way up there. We've probably covered at least a thousand feet of vert, maybe even more. This is not something you get at a typical ski resort. You know, Telluride's extremes, you can't really access them by lift, but it does have some serious benefits. The hike to nature really does have some serious benefits. I think this is the run out. My God, that was insane. That was a hike up Palmyra Peak and a run down Seniors. Probably one of the most insane hike run combinations that is out there. If you have the stamina for a two hour hike up more, more than 13,000 feet in elevation, you might be kicking yourself on the upper parts of that hike. 
But once you get down, you absolutely will not regret it.